Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Okay, so let's talk like the school, the school process of making friends. Because you said you got migrant parents, so you're not even probably accustomed really to dealing with no American children, the ways that they play, talk, etc. First of all, we went to high school together. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so you know how it was for me. People did not like me. Uh, it was. It wasn't that that people didn't like me. I think I got along with everybody, and I, I, I didn't. I didn't choose sides. I didn't stick to one group. I was definitely a free floater. I fuck with everybody, whether he was lit, whether he was lame. I was like in the middle. I was. You know, you knew about me. Yeah. You didn't like me though, but you knew about me. You know what I'm saying? That was one thing that, that it was. But what I will say is that um, the difference between that, that I saw the most between American kids and being in a uh, in a in a foreign household really is respect. Respect, like. I see a lot of, you know, I saw a lot of American kids, you know what I'm saying, doing things to their elders, you know what I'm saying, where, you know what I'm saying, are saying things or talking to their elders in a way that, you know, would be just super unacceptable in my household. I come from a place where even if this person is a stranger, you call them your auntie or your uncle, you know what I'm saying, and I, I will say respect and, and loyalty, I, I don't know, Americans are very weird and, and on that scale of things, if that makes sense. So, oh yeah. Nah, I mean shit. I like to say, imagine, you see how it's us in here? Imagine it was a nigga that only spoke Spanish sitting right here. Like, that's how it was basically. I got dropped in elementary school and everybody spoke English and I ain't know what the fuck was going on. So they'll be like, hey my nigga, you hungry? And I'd be like, gay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't know what them niggas was talking about. But they had me in ESL. And then when I got to like sixth, seventh grade, they just threw me in with the niggas. And I kind of got the gist of yeah. being with niggas. And now, right now you wouldn't even know. Yeah, right now you wouldn't even know a nigga talk full fledged Spanish. But that's a fact with the with the the language. Because I'm not going to lie, when you, you hear your parents talk. Cause my parents don't speak another language. We just speak in a dialect, like, you know, Patois or, you know, Jamaican accent, right? So... Growing up in school, like I would write the way my parents talked. So that's funny, and, and they would call and be like, um, your kid wrote, what is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? They, like, But my dad would know what's going on, but that was the hard part, having to differentiate definitely languages uh -huh. and stuff like that. That's a fact. English is hard to learn. Hmm. English is slick hard to learn, bro. Like, that shit. We really speak in Babel. Oh really? No, I'm talking about us. Oh, oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these made up ass words. Lingo. And shit. Like we drive you speaking babble. <laughs> but <laughs> nah. <laughs> For real. Like you gotta think about this shit. Like this type of shit that come to your mind when you're on shrooms <laughs> and when you high, cause that that other side of your mind is expanding. But for real, if you think of Tuesday, Wednesday, who made this shit up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't be knowing shit. Got high on Friday. Oh, I'm saying. Like, how y'all niggas know it's seven days in the week? Right. They just made some shit up, bro. Like niggas was concept, of, but that that's like concept of time too. Like days of the week, and that too. Like maybe to help them differentiate the time. That I mean, I don't know. That shit crazy though. How they pinpoint from the when Jesus and them was born? Ain't no watches. How y'all was like? Sundials, yeah, yeah. sundials. They put a stick in the ground, and the sun went up, and it started shifting and shit. And it was like one, two, three, twelve. But how they know what one, two, and three was? The, by the sun, they check, they measured the light in the sun. The, the, the. Listen, bro, listen. I told you I was from Sugarland. <laughs> I told you, I told you I was from Sugarland. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie. We really like live in a scripted world. We really like we out of there. <laughs> we, like a simulation. Out. Yeah, I mean, this is real life though. Like, yeah. I feel pain. This is yeah. real. But I'm saying though, like, it's some bullshit going on. We don't know what's going on, but it's going on though, for shit show, like, for real. I don't know, he's gotta be mindful of this shit. Okay, so, what's your thoughts on, this is touchy, so we ain't, you know, if you wanna talk about it, we don't. Cause scripted, and like the, the concept of life, you know, one thing that falls in the lines of that is religion. Yeah, I feel like religions are kinda, made to keep order or what, what i will say and I, I like that you said that they'll keep order thing because um 
when they were first when they first made this country there there wasn't a government they used the church but I always say that I'm spiritual not religious I don't you know I know that there's God you know what I'm saying I know that for a fact I pray to him you know what I'm saying but I'm not gonna go into a building and a person that sins just as much as me is telling me or reading something from his eyes because what you might read you you're gonna take it your way but the way I might read the Bible is different in the Bible it does say the only way to go to church is being in a closet, or the best way to go to church is being in a closet into yourself. Because what that message you might read might be for you, but the way you might perceive those words, but I'm not going to go walk in a building and hear your perception of the Bible. I'm not going to do that. It just doesn't make sense, especially if you sin just as much as me. You're probably cheating on your wife, probably touching kids. But I'm not saying that that's the case all the time. But I'm not going to allow someone who sins just as much as me, if not more, tell me what God expects of me. I had like a godfather when I was a little nigga, and that nigga was like a super church nigga though. He was like a deacon or something, but that hoe was like a street nigga. I went to I went he to Christian a super schools, street nigga. like beat niggas up in the street smoking. But he was like that a deacon. A I swear to God, bro, he was like a real street nigga, bro. Like, but he was super god fearing, and if you said some crazy shit, he go, "Oh, well, in Philippians." 17.7 it said you need to uh, but you went to jail? <laughs> yeah I went to jail I ain't go to jail oh, I don't know what happened to him really I don't I, he just vanished like you, you know what I'm saying like you know how some people in your life they just be gone uh -huh. I don't know like I fuck with that nigga just that you know he a, he was a deacon and then he was a street nigga his daughter was fine though yeah, his daughter so. was fine as hell bro <laughs> like I know if I ran into her today saying like <laughs> How people are in your life and then they can just vanish. So, what's your thought on, well, y'all's thought on people being in your life for seasons versus reasons? How no you U-turns! No U-turns! You leave this bitch, you can't come back, suck my date. That's how I feel about that shit. Because I will not do you wrong. I'm not going to do you no kind of way. I don't go out my way to make you feel no kind of way. I don't go out my way to hurt your feelings or do anything. So, if me and you fall out, it's because of you. You know what I'm saying? So we oh not doing God, no U-turns. We not doing no U-turns. I wake up true, every day and, and, and breathe positivity in my actions towards people. So if something negative is that's on you, because I'm naturally a positive person. Like I wake up and I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm good. I got a clear mind. So if we not fucking around, it's you and no U-turns. Don't try and come back when you feel like it's convenient. Man, I agree with that. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I've always been that nigga. Like that's that's why we got like that's that's, that's why, why we like, end up yeah, like that. Cause like bro, I've always been that nigga. A lot of the niggas I fuck with right now, like be them niggas that people fuck with. I don't got beef with people. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't got beef with nobody right now. Like, but niggas hate me. That's niggas be hating me. I don't even be knowing they exist. I don't be knowing that these niggas don't. You don't like even know me. why. Like, I'm like what? They be like, yeah, that whole ass nigga boo boo said this, and I'm like. Who? And then this the ground. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? And nigga dry guy beef like behind something I don't even be knowing is going on, bro. Niggas be beefing with themselves. That's a but, fact. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. When they, you when they you got that life, you. when you got that life, food people just hey, always they either they either they either love you or they hate you. Facts, you know, you yeah. don't just don't in between. You know what I'm saying? If there isn't an in between, that shit is fake. You feel me? Like shit crazy.